Alex Howard and welcome to this short video. So in this video I wanted to talk about what is at the heart of healing from ME chronic fatigue fibromyalgia. And you see the thing is often what we're looking for is we're looking for you know either the cure or we're looking often if we're a bit more sophisticated in our understanding we're looking for the factors that come together to make the cure. We're looking for something which is going to help heal our body. And of course, there are many elements that can help support that process. But the kind of important piece here is they support that process. They don't do that process. When I was um, suffering from ME chronic fatigue myself, I remember going to see an immunologist. And I'd waited a long time to get this um, appointment. And I was so kind of excited. I was getting all these different tests on my immune system. And I was hoping, it's that really weird thing of any chronic fatigue. It's one of the random times you go for a test and you want to find something wrong. For anyone who's a healthy person, you go for a test, you want to find nothing wrong. But you want to have an explanation for the symptoms that you've got. So I sat down with this immunologist and, you know, once again, it all come back normal. And I kind of sat there and you think, how can it possibly be normal? I can hardly get out of bed. But anyway, sat there and apparently it's all normal. But... This immunologist said something really interesting to me. He said, there's nothing in medicine that we can do to make the body heal. All we can do is support the body healing itself. And that really struck me. And I thought about that a lot over the years. And just like an obvious example, if you um, cut yourself, for example, there's no drug, there's no treatment which will make that heal. You can have stitches, which will stitch the skin together. You could have painkillers. You could have things that would disinfect or clean the wound. Or if you were to break your leg, for example, you can set the bone and you can, again, you can have painkillers and you can do various things that can help that process. But ultimately, it's the body that heals itself. The body has this remarkable ability to heal. You think of all the cuts, all the bruises, all the injuries we pick up as a child, but there are no signs of those you know, many, many years later. When we think about ME chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, and we're so hunting around for what we can do to fix this broken body, and we can forget that actually the body knows how to heal itself. Often what it needs is the right support in doing that. Like, for example, if you have a cut and the skin isn't put back together, you're probably going to get a scar. If that you don't clean the wound, you're going to get an infection. If you've got a lot of pain, you don't deal with that, it's going to be uncomfortable. So if we have mapped that across to ME chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, we need to be in a healing state. We need to make sure that we're absorbing nutrients. We might want to support the healing of things like our adrenals, our mitochondria, with certain raw ingredients that we would use in those processes. But ultimately, it's the body that heals itself. And your body has extraordinary capacities to do that. And it's a really helpful, almost like, um, sounds a bit cheesy, but almost like a meditation, to be able to just sit with the fact that your body knows how to heal. It may need some support, it may need some help, but ultimately, it has the capacity to do that. Thank you.